It's a fact with any divorce proceedings that if the parties cannot reach a fair and equitable agreement, they go to a judge to ask for a decision. Mr Speaker, in the case of the divorce between the UK and the EU, this Parliament must be the judge. Does the Prime Minister agree with me that once this Parliament has rejected the EU's controlling and dominating proposal, which won't leave us free to decide our future, that the UK will be better off actually spending the money we set aside to prepare for a clean global Brexit? Yeah. Yeah. Can, I to, can I say to my honourable friend that what... If we order, order. The honourable lady's question was heard. And I want to hear the Prime Minister's reply, and the Prime Minister re- is entitled to have that reply properly heard. The Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, backing this Brexit deal means that we will control our own borders, we'll end free movement once and for all, we'll protect jobs with a deal that's good for our economy, we'll no longer send vast un- uh, sums of money every year to the European Union, we can spend it on our priorities, and we'll be able to strike free trade deals around the world, as well as taking back control of our laws and having a good security partnership. But if we reject this deal, we go back to square one with damaging uncertainty that would threaten jobs, threaten our investment and the economy, and lead to more division. I mean, there was less time to focus on the issues that our constituents wish us to focus on. So I think the choice is backing the deal in the national interest so we can build that brighter future, or going back to square one if it is rejected.